Thank you for joining me today. My name is Derek Dean, and I'm the Senior VP of SCADA and ADMS at ETAP. I'm very excited to share with you the enhanced ePROTECT solution and how it can be used to increase your system reliability, efficiency, and compliance. During this presentation, I'd like to discuss some of the challenges encountered today and some of the solutions provided by ePROTECT to address those challenges. The ETAP value proposition, a detailed demo of some scenarios, and some tangible key benefits of this solution. Today, I'd like to start by talking about some of the significant challenges we face in the industry when it comes to managing relay protection settings. First, we grapple with the inherent complexity of relay settings. Given the variety of functions that relays perform, managing and maintaining the settings, especially in large systems with numerous relays, can be quite a daunting task. Secondly, we often deal with multiple setting groups within our systems. The management of these groups adds another layer of complexity, making it even more challenging to ensure that all settings are correct and up to date. Another hurdle we face is the handling of documentation, maintaining up-to-date records of relay setting calculations, setting sheets, and test records is crucial. However, managing this documentation can be a significant challenge. Consistency is key when it comes to database management. Ensuring consistency across the database of relay settings is another major challenge, particularly when changes are made to the settings or when new relay relays are added to the system. Periodic review of settings is another area that requires our attention. Determining when and how to conduct these reviews to ensure the settings are still appropriate for the system can be a challenge. This is becoming more critical for large systems as various regulatory agencies require periodic relay settings review and validation. For example, NERC PRC5 outlines strict requirements on this. As we move towards a future powered by renewable energy, we encounter new challenges. The increased share of energy produced from renewable resources and use of HVDC transmission can pose challenges for relay protections as well. These systems have different characteristics compared to traditional power generation methods, which can require adjustments to relay settings. We also need to address instances where relay protection operation is missing or delayed. This can lead to issues such as equipment damage, power outages, or safety hazards. Maintaining voltage quality, frequency quality, and overall system stability is a major challenge in relay protection setting management. Changes in the power system, such as the addition of new loads or generation sources, can affect these parameters and require adjustments to relay settings. Finally, when there are events, there lacks a cohesive solution to analyze these events for reporting and further protection validation. These challenges highlight the need for effective management and maintenance of relay protection settings. Overcoming these challenges can help ensure the reliability, efficiency, and safety of the power system. I'd like to next discuss the various solutions currently being utilized in the industry for managing relay protection settings. These solutions span a wide spectrum from simple and rudimentary to very highly complex. At one end of the spectrum, we have engineering teams with limited resources and relatively simple systems. These teams typically manage their relays using traditional methods, such as data sheets, spreadsheets, and drawings. Additionally, they monitor the health of their relays through physical system walkthroughs, where the system health of each relay is checked manually. While this approach may be suitable for simple systems, it presents numerous challenges in terms of reliability, efficiency, and overall system visibility. For slightly more advanced systems, relay settings are managed via the original equipment manufacturer's software provided by the relay vendor. In this scenario, each relay manufacturer, and sometimes each product line from a given manufacturer, 
requires a separate software with its own interface and capabilities. The health of the relays is typically managed via a SCADA. However, this approach often lacks a connection between relay health and relay management, as the OEM software typically does not integrate with the SCADA system. There are also relay management systems that allow users to centralize their settings into one software, reducing the dependency on multiple different software solutions. While this can be beneficial for storing all settings in one location, it is typically just a file management solution and does not properly parse out the settings. Finally, there are some settings management tools that support parsing the settings from the Relay Vendor's OEM software. However, these tools typically have limited support for different Relay manufacturers and have several other limitations to be discussed later on. In these cases, for relay settings validation, it is required to manually input the settings into a relay protection and coordination software. This ensures that the current as-found settings are used for the evaluation. However, this process is time-consuming, susceptible to user error, and requires a sophisticated understanding of the relay settings as seen in the OEM software versus the relay settings as defined in the relay protection and coordination software. Once these settings have been validated, there is a required step to update the relay management software as well as the relay itself. This process has the same drawbacks as the import process as it requires that the settings be manually input. Finally, there are tools to analyze fault events, however, they lack the model-based solution which provides significantly more insights into the event and the nature of your electrical system configuration. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the ETAP ePROTECT product and discuss its unique value proposition. ePROTECT is a comprehensive, integrated relay management solution that streamlines and simplifies the process of relay settings extraction, settings management, settings validation, and maintenance tracking and scheduling. One of the key benefits of ePROTECT is the increased efficiency and time saving it offers. It achieves this by importing settings into the digital twin for analysis. This reduces manual effort, speeds up the process, and minimizes the risk of errors. Another significant advantage of ePROTECT is the enhanced safety it brings to your operations. It accomplishes this by integrating the relay protection and coordination tools from ETAP Design into the relay management process. This integration ensures that all aspects of the relay management are considered and addressed, leading to a safer operations. Furthermore, ePROTECT contributes to the increased reliability of your overall electrical system. By ensuring that your system is properly validated, ePROTECT helps to maintain the integrity and reliability of your electrical system. In addition to these benefits, ePROTECT leverages AFAST technology to enable users to analyze faults by calculating the fault characteristics, incident reporting, and fault response validation. The use of AFAST technology leads to increased efficiency and set time saving through the auto generation of reports. This feature streamlines the reporting process, making it quicker and more efficient. Moreover, AFAST technology enhances the safety of the operation by validating the as-operated event against the as-designed analysis, which is also against the digital twin. This validation ensures that the operation aligns with the design, enhancing safety and reliability. The ePROTECT product offers a comprehensive solution for relay management. Its unique combination of features and benefits makes it an invaluable tool for any operation seeking to enhance efficiency, safety, and reliability. Next, I'd like to demonstrate some of the key features of ePROTECT and AFAS. I'd like to start by showing the Relay Explorer page. The main interface is a web page which shows all of the relays in your system. The relays can be filtered by classification and protection type. Here, users can assign attributes to each relay and attach documents like data sheets, test documentation, images, or anything else you wish to store with the relay. Additionally, 
eProtect stores critical information for reporting purposes, including the last time settings have been imported, the last time settings have been validated, and the last time the settings have been updated in the field. Upon relay selection, users can see the as found, as designed, and as modified settings parsed out in a common format. Other key features include settings comparison between the different versions of the settings, navigation to the Relay's web page, categorization of the Relay settings, etc. Next, I'd like to delve into the intricate process of Relay settings validation, a critical aspect of our operations. Our journey begins with the creation of maintenance schedules for the Relays. This crucial step allows us to track changes and ensure the smooth operation of our system. Utilizing maintenance groups, users can effortlessly establish periodic scheduled maintenance routines for a group of relays. This process includes the incorporation of necessary documentation and procedures required for this maintenance, as well as the identification of key individuals responsible for overseeing the maintenance. Upon scheduling the maintenance, the notification is dispatched to the technician assigned to perform the maintenance. This ensures timely execution and minimizes the risk of oversight. The first step of the relay settings validation process involves downloading the settings from the relay using the vendor-provided OEM software. This can be accomplished through the local network or directly at the relay, depending on the IT infrastructure in place. Once the settings are downloaded into the OEM software, users can export these settings into a standard format. This includes, but is not limited to, formats such as XRIO, XML, RDB, XLS. Armed with the settings files, the user can then utilize the eProtect website to import the settings. This import can be performed on a per relay basis or in bulk, where multiple settings can be imported simultaneously and linked to the associated relays. It's important to note that for each relay setting file that is imported, we track key unique information about the relay. This enables us to easily validate the settings file to the relay the next time an import is performed. Upon successful import, all of the settings are parsed out into standardized formats, regardless of the manufacturer. Additionally, all settings specific to ETAP protection coordination analysis are then identified. Once the imported settings have been reviewed and approved, they are then sent to ETAP. The ETAP specific settings are automatically pushed to the eProtect revision within the ETAP model. Users can then validate the as found relay settings using STAR or STAR Z. Here we can see the results of a STAR auto evaluation. Utilizing the ETAP design tools, users can update the settings to ensure everything is properly protected and coordinated. Once the updated and validated settings are approved, these settings are then merged to the base revision, signifying that they are now as designed. The process of updating the base revision creates a new as designed version of the settings in the eProtect webpage. At this point, a backup of the historical as designed and as found settings are available. Users can then export the as-designed settings into a format that can be imported into the OEM software. This is achieved by taking the previous as-found settings file as a template and then updating only those settings which have changed by the ETAP design validation. The eProtect product offers a comprehensive solution for relay management. Its unique combination of features and benefits makes it an invaluable tool for any operation seeking to enhance efficiency, safety, and reliability. I'd like to introduce you to the final feature of our presentation, the AFAS application. This powerful tool offers a comprehensive view of incidents automatically generated from ComTrade files received from the field. Upon accessing the web user interface of the AFAS application, you'll notice a wealth of information displayed. Field Sequence of Operation. This feature presents the digital operations from the field as they were found. It provides a chronological sequence of events offering a clear understanding of the operational timeline. Fault Location. The AFAS application calculates and displays the location of the fault. 
It's important to note that this calculation is performed using a variety of sophisticated algorithms to ensure the accuracy of the fault location. Fault severity analysis. Here users can view detailed information about the severity of the fault. This includes the type of the fault, as well as the fault voltage, current. This data is crucial for understanding the impact and potential risks associated with the fault. Relay data. The AFAST application engine separates the event into key stages, including load flow, fault, dead, and other stages. For industrial applications, we also support additional stages of a fault, such as voltage dips and reacceleration. This feature allows users to gain a comprehensive understanding of the event timeline. Circuit breaker status. This feature allows users to see which circuit breakers were opened and closed during the incident. This information is vital for understanding the system response to the event. Analytical view. Finally, the AFAST application provides an analytical view where users can see key timing parameters of the relay. This feature allows users to easily assess the performance of the relay during the incident. In conclusion, the AFAST application is a powerful tool that offers a comprehensive and detailed view of incidents. Its unique combination of features makes it an invaluable asset for any operation seeking to enhance efficiency, safety, and reliability. To conclude, I'd like to highlight some key customer benefits of the ePROTECT solution. First and foremost, the most critical benefit is the overall cost savings in maintaining your facility. When we talk about cost, we are referring to the significant reduction in man hours required for relay maintenance. Traditionally, relay maintenance involves numerous manual steps, demanding a substantial investment in resources. However, as discussed earlier, these efforts are significantly minimized when you utilize the ePROTECT solution. This automation translates into considerable time and cost savings, allowing your team to focus on more strategic tasks. Another paramount benefit is the enhancement of safety and reliability. The ePROTECT solution eliminates the risk of human error, such as manually inserting incorrect values or misinterpreting settings. By automating these processes, we ensure that the relay settings are accurate and consistent, thereby enhancing the overall safety and reliability of your operations. Lastly, compliance is a critical benefit of the ePROTECT solution. This tool simplifies the process of adhering to various industry standards and regulations. It generates comprehensive reports that facilitate compliance, ensuring that your operations meets all necessary regulatory requirements with ease. In summary, the ePROTECT solution offers significant cost savings, enhances safety and reliability, and ensures compliance with industry standards. These benefits make it an invaluable tool for any operation seeking to optimize its relay management processes.